Hi guys! I'm Nika from BitBoss and for today's video, I'm going to show you in a more detailed way our POS Cruiser setup. Our POS Cruiser setup includes our main unit, mouse, keyboard, and monitor, cashew drawer, receipt printer, barcode printer, and barcode scanner. This setup will make it more convenient for you to track sales, inventory, store, and employee management. It will also make it easier and more convenient for owners or managers to get real-time reports, you can get all the reports you need on a single dashboard regardless of where you are. So here with our grocery setup, I'm going to show you item entry using back office. But before that, we need to create item categories for our items. Click item and inventory. And then click item categories. Select the item type and the unit of measure. And then also select the type and input the category name. And then click add new. Now as you can see here, we have our new item category. Now that we're done with our item category, we can now proceed to item entry. Click items and then input your item name. The name of your item and the description should be the same. So to copy, click Ctrl C and to paste Ctrl V. Select the category and the item type. And don't forget to check the editable description so you can edit the name and the description of your item anytime. Now if your item doesn't have any barcode yet, click generate barcode and then click insert new item. Now that we're done with item entry, we can now proceed to sales pricing. Click sales pricing. And then input the name of your item. Select your sales type. And input the sales price. Click add new. And to print the barcode of your item, Click this fancy logo and then click the barcode print. Now as you can see here, this is our barcode. And now that we're done with sales pricing, we can now proceed to inventory adjustments. Now here in our item code, we can just use our barcode scanner to scan this item and it will automatically input here in our item code. Input the expiration date of your item. So for example, input the quantity on hand and input the unit cost or your capital for the item. Click add item and then Click Process Adjustment. Now that we're done here with Item Adjustment, I can now show you our Inventory Reports. Click Reports and click Inventory. You will see here the Inventory Sales Report. Input the date that you will view. And here, if you want to check it per category, you just need to select the category. But if you want to see all of the categories, just click No Category Filter. Click Display. And then here you will see the sales, the cost, and the profit. Next, here in our Stock Movement Report, you will see the opening or the stock opening. You will see the opening or the opening stock that we have, the inward items, the outward items, and the balance or the quantity we have left. Now I'm going to show you the stock sheets with expiration. And then here you will see our items with expiration date. We'll also see here the unit of measure, 
of our items, and quantity. Now that we're done with our inventory, I can now show you our sales transaction. Proceed to your cashing site and log in as cashier. I'm using the admin system account. Now, change this into code. So to change that, click Control S. So I changed this. So once we scan our items using our barcode scanner, it will just automatically input here in our system. And then, to add quantity, click this. And to minus quantity, click this. You can also click item setup and input the exact quantity number. Now let's proceed to our next items. Now as you notice, every time I scan items, this pops out. So this is the item expiry of your item. Now let's proceed to tendering. Click tender. Input the customer's payment amount and click tender sales or just enter. Now I'm going to show you cash count where you will see if the cashier is over or short with the sales. So click cash count. And then here, your cashier will input the cash drawers amount. So for example, one one thousands, five two hundreds, three fifty. And as you will see here, the cash count automatically computes. And once you're done inputting, click print and end shift. Our cash count will print and you will see here our cash count. Now I'm going to show you Z reading all the sales transactions. So control shift Z and click OK. Now your Z reading printout will print. And you will see here the Z reading print. And now that we're done here with our cashiering site, I can also go back to our back office and check stock movement report because we did a transaction. And now you'll see here that our outward is 5 and our balance is now just 25. I'm going to check our also going to check our POS sales detail report. And you're going to see here the item code with the description and the expiration date, the quantity, the sales, the cost, the profit, and also the cashier ID. As you can see, this setup is designed to automate inventory, employee, and customer management. You will also love the fact that the register helps you enhance efficiency and speed. Now help your business compete in the industry using our POS system if you want to boost your business, choose Fitboss. Bye!